In this video, I would like to show you how to make the top level assembly and then all the components as separate sheets under that assembly. So let's get started. So let's start out by creating the assembly drawing itself. Simply right click on the top level and say create drawing. This is an ANSI drawing so I'm going to use an inch B size sheet. He comes in and I place my view. I'm only going to put an isometric in this so I can use it for a bill of materials. I'll change my scale and my view and set it off to the side. So this will be used for my top level drawing. Now what I'm going to do is make a sheet for each component. I won't do them all but I'll show you the process. So let me save this and I'll come right back. The next step is to return to your assembly and select your first component you would like to detail. Now this is a link component but it doesn't have to be. It could be a model in place component as well. It doesn't make any difference. So right click on it and say create drawing. Now here's where it becomes very important. Under drawing you don't want to create a new one. You want to pick up the one that you just made and I named it right angle engine assembly. <clears throat> so I pick that. Now do I want a new sheet or do I want to go to sheet one? I want a new sheet. So I say OK. As you see it automatically goes to a new sheet and I'm ready to place my view. I'll set it to one to one and just set it off to the side. Let's go ahead and make a projective view real quick. OK so there is my first component. Now notice when it came in it had all the components but it only checked the one that I started from. That's the advantage of right clicking on it and saying create drawing from that very component. So now I'm going to save and I'm going to return back and do the next one. Back in the assembly I'll select the next component the flywheel post. I'll right click on that and say create drawing. Again we don't want to create a new one. We want to use the existing drawing. We want a new sheet for the new part or component. Excuse me. It forms a new sheet and we're ready to place it. And I'm going to go ahead also and make a projected view. And save. Heading back to the assembly, I'm not going to do all of them, but the same process is used for each component. But let's look at a special one, this piece of sheet metal. I would like to have both a flat pattern and the model on the same sheet. So I'll right click on it and go to create drawing. I would like it in the same set, so I don't want to create new. I want to use the existing drawing. I want a new sheet. But notice up here I want the folded model first. So I go ahead and say OK. It brings in a new thing. I'm going to go to the home view and I'm going to increase the scale a little bit and place it off to the side and say OK. I didn't quite like that so I forgot to do something. I'm going to go back and edit view and turn on intersection edges so it looks a little better and also full length sides so it looks more folded. So I now return to the assembly. Right click on again on the same part. Create new drawing. I want this time the flat pattern. I do not want to create a new sheet. Excuse me a new drawing but I do want to put it on the current sheet. So it's sheet number four. Say OK and as you can see it comes in. I'll just simply place it. So you would continue repeating this process until you finished all your components as individual sheets. Now you can, at this point you can do things like dimension and make notes. You can also do this. You could right click on a sheet and actually rename it. I'll call this the flywheel post. 
You can also rearrange them. You can just simply drag them in different orders, depending on which you would like to come first. I did not finish all the components, but I hope you get the idea. I hope this helped you make a better drawing in Fusion 360.